Once again, Bikini Atoll becomes the scene of the most dramatic nuclear explosion of all. For days, the target center and observation posts buzz with activity as weather planes circle the entire blast area, waiting for the most ideal conditions that will prevent disastrous radioactive fallout, the most difficult problem that must be solved in the titanic blast. In preparation for the explosion, skiffs carrying radiation detection devices are lowered and anchored at strategic points in the blast area. For the collection of this data is one of the main objectives of the entire test and will determine in great measure chances of survival in the event of nuclear war. These and tens of thousands of other instruments covering hundreds of square miles will bring back the answer. Trace rockets will capture samples of radioactive clouds. Admiral B. Hall Hanlon, commander, makes a last minute inspection. And here are the men who will undertake the most hazardous mission in aviation history. They receive a final briefing from the B-52's commander, Major Dave Critchlow. They must drop the bomb from 55,000 feet to explode 15,000 feet over the target area where these instruments will measure heat and radiation. Wheels for the gigantic test are now in motion, and the seconds tick off. Far below the target island of Namu stands outlined with a cross of lights and its radar installation. Once again, weather planes make a last-minute check. A brilliance of 500 suns lights hundreds of miles of the Pacific, and the force of a million tons of TNT is released. Fifteen seconds later, the light is still unbearable. Observers may well squint, for they may have witnessed a prelude to world destruction.